Hello everyone, Brian here bringing you another game of Black Ops. This is Gun Game on Radiation. I know I had mentioned in one of my earlier videos that I did play some wager matches and this is one of those games. This game was actually from about a week ago. I had been uh, dabbling around with some ground war and I had gotten into a couple domination games and all I can really say is my teammates were absolutely brutal and they were not interested in playing the objective whatsoever. I actually still have that game as part of this session, and I just looked at it out of curiosity's sake before I started this commentary, and I had five flag captures, and I had no defense, and seven of my nine teammates only had one flag capture, which I can pretty much assume you guys can guess which one that is. That would have been the home base flag, which was C on WMD. And none of them had, actually no, three of them had a couple defends. One had one flag defend. And one had two, and the other one had four. So at least one teammate was actually slightly trying to defend the flag. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous. They did not leave our spawn area that entire game. I kept the B flag five times, and no one tried to even remotely defend it. And I obviously had some choice words to say for those guys. But after that uh, debacle of a game, I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different. I just wanted to get away from the team-based matches for a little while, so I decided to get into some wager matches. And this was the first one that I had played. I did get off to a little bit of a slow start, because I am not very good with the pistols, or the uh, akimbo pistols, or dual-wield pistols as they call them in uh, Black Ops. But things did pick up for me as the game went on. But I'm really not going to talk about the gameplay, other than to say you will definitely see me looking around because I need to get familiar with the fact the maps were a little small and it was confusing me a little bit here early on in this match. And since Christmas now is only about a week away, I'm going to be going out and doing a little bit of my Christmas shopping this weekend. I just have a few things to pick up for my wife. I did get a couple of her, her gifts already, ordered a couple of things online, and I got her a, her big surprise gift. I'm not going to say what it is yet, just in the off chance, someone she works with, because I know a couple of guys there uh, watch a lot of YouTube gameplay videos as well. Just in the off chance one of them happens to see this video, I don't want to mention what it is. But uh, I am going to go out and try to finish up her shopping uh, sometime tomorrow. And uh, I did actually get one of my gifts from my wife a little bit early. I had mentioned in the comments of uh, one of my other videos I did, uh, the Christmas decorating video, that uh, my wife always says I am very, very difficult to shop for every year. Mainly because, I mean, we're older now. Most of what we want, we already have. And most of the things that I want at this point are technology oriented. And I am incredibly, incredibly picky about uh, anything that she buys for me in that respect. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, I have a PS2. PS3, I have my Xbox now, I have a Wii, and uh, you know, we have two computers, one's mine, one's hers. I have a laptop that I have at work as well, where I watch a lot of the videos of other people during the day. So my idea is for her to get me a gift uh, turned to the computer area. I was thinking about upgrading my PC at home, and I was also thinking about a new laptop, but they turned out to be a little bit outside of the budget with the processor speed I would need and a dedicated video card. So maybe I could uh, start rendering some videos on it and uh, just have a little more flexibility with doing uh, some of these videos for you guys. And also, it would make it a lot easier for me if I ever did decide to try to do a live stream because um, my computer is upstairs, so I really would have no interaction uh, with the chat function if I was playing. So if I had a powerful laptop, I could put that downstairs and record there and uh, possibly do a live stream. But I may try one again anyhow sometime in the near future, as I know I'm going to be off a lot for the Christmas holiday. So maybe I'll just uh, dabble around with it and you guys can see how truly bad of a player I can be at times. So since the laptop was out of the question, I had done some research and I decided to go with the computer upgrade option. Because obviously I give you guys uh, three, maybe four videos a week on average. Um, other than the time it takes me to sit down and edit and break down the uh, footage and uh, you know, knock out a commentary for you guys. Um, uh, other than editing that as well, because I'm not always the most eloquent person in the world. So a lot of times when I go back and listen to it, I'm not too happy with the way the parts of it came out. So I have to go back and make some adjustments to it. 
but the rendering of the videos sometimes can take an hour and a half, two hours, sometimes even longer depending upon the length of the video. I think that the Christmas video I did for you guys, because uh, it was 16 minutes long, took something like three hours or something to render or something ridiculous. So, I mean, if I could cut that time down, I probably uh, could do it, work on a little bit more of these for you. Uh, maybe even have two of them rendering at one time. And uh, thankfully, I have a pretty strong background in computers, even though I never really took classes for them or anything else. Um, you guys are well aware I'm older. So, uh, I actually, when I was, what was I, uh, 18, 19 years old, uh, I had worked at a computer store um, nearby. It was a privately owned store, and they uh, just started doing some uh, custom computer building back when uh, Intel uh, had first come out the DX33 processor. Yes, all of 33 megahertz. That was when uh, Windows 3.1, the original Windows program, first came out. So that was my uh, first experience with computers. And from uh, hanging out with, with uh, some of the guys there, did some of the custom building. Uh, so I did a lot of stuff for schools and local government and whatnot. Just from hanging out with them, I did learn how to build my own computers and how to troubleshoot and everything else. So I just uh, decided to purchase the AMD Phenom 2 X4 965 the uh, newer 3.4 gigahertz processor of theirs. So I went from a uh, double core to a quad core, upgraded the motherboard and uh, some faster memory. And uh, probably in a month or so, once uh, we get some of the Christmas bills paid off, I'm gonna upgrade the video card as well to one of the new uh, ATI Radeon ones. And uh, hopefully that should really help out with the rendering and quality of some of the videos. But, as you'll now see, I, this game is now over. I did win the match. I didn't have the best final score in the world, but the winning in uh, wager matches is really all that matters if you end up in the cash or not. My best kill streak was six, so even though I did start off a little bit slow with the pistols, uh, I didn't get bogged down with the sniper rifles, thankfully, and I got on a little bit of a streak there, and I was able to win the game. So I do have a couple more of these I might do for you as well, and I'll see what other gameplays I can come up with. So until next time guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video. I will see you soon, and I hope you have a good one.